Uh, we're going to read together. Ready? Read. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor of the destruction that lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample under foot. Because he has set his love upon you, Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Amen. Remember, we need to get that downloaded in us. We need to take it home during the week, read it, put yourself in that place, put God where he's supposed to be in those places, because we're going to need it with these end times coming up. You're really going to have to know that you're protected, that there's no pestilence that can come near you. Trying to get that to you. Now we're going to read this one. This is the second one that we need to know for sure in our, downloaded in our hearts. Ready? Read. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. All right. Amen. Amen. Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. I want to have a little fun or try to get us to do more class participation. So we have been talking about building a house, and what we talked about last time was the dressing room and what's in the dressing room and what you need to take off and what you need to put on and things like that. So I had mentioned yesterday to some of them that we're going to do the kitchen this year, this this, this Sunday. We're going to talk about things in the kitchen. So what I want to do is get your participation on things in your mind about what's in the kitchen. What's in the kitchen. And then what we're going to do is take the things that are in the kitchen and see if we can apply them towards our life and the work, the spiritual end of what's in the kitchen. So that's why I had the board. I wanted to draw like, you know, we have a kitchen. And, uh, of course, there's a doorway to the kitchen that we have to go through. You have to go through the doorway, and you have to have the key. Remember, God, Jesus said he gave us the key to the kingdom, so we have the key to go in the door, so we're going in the door. So what are some of the things that you have in the kitchen? 
<laughs> Not get you. <laughs> Hold on to that one. The stove. <laughs> the stove. Yes. Okay, where are we going for the stove? Right here? Sure. Okay, that's the stove. Oh, you need a window? We're going to have a window, too? Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. A window. We're going to have to see a spiritual window. We, how many windows we want? Just one with the sink under it. Yeah. Does, should it be here, over here? You want the sink? Yeah. I need somebody that knows how to draw. I don't know how to draw a sink. We're going to put a sink. We're going to put a sink with the little thing. Hmm? Kitchen table with chairs. So you can eat. Oh, that's good. That is good. We're going to. How do you draw a chair? I don't know how to draw a chair. You just draw a little chair or something. <laughs> you said just put chairs. We're just going to put some. Y'all know those are chairs. Those are chairs. Should we have a chair at the head? Okay, we got a chair at the head. Okay, what else needs to be in the. Put the apple pie in it. <laughs> okay. Now you got to explain that um, spiritually what that apple pie means now. Well, okay. <laughs> There's a little apple pie. Okay, anything else? A refrigerator. Oh, yeah, we got that. Where do we want to put the refrigerator? Next to the stove? Okay, y'all know this is a refrigerator. Refrig. A who? Dishwasher. Okay, we'll put that next to the sink. Okay, it's a dishwasher. Okay, we're missing some things. We're missing some things. Huh? A microwave. Okay, y'all want a microwave. We'll put that next to the stove. That's a microwave. Come on now. We're missing some main things in the kitchen. Pots and pans. Let's see, where are we going to put the pots and pans? Let's put them there down here. These are, these are pots and pans. Yeah. Hmm? Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> okay, we got to put this, we got to put all these, this food somewhere. Where are we going to put these foods? A pantry? Oh, okay. So let's, cabinets. Let's go with some cabinets. We never have any cabinets. What's cabinets for? Storage, is right? Okay. I'm going to put a lot of cabinets. I like cabinets. You can hide stuff in cabinets. Okay, anything else? Probably need a light or something. We'll say the light's hanging above the, we'll say the light's hanging up here. Maybe you have some lights over the stove. <laughs> a cat? <laughs> no cats in the kitchen. <laughs> hmm? A coffee pot. Okay, that's something we'll put on the, We'll put it on the stove. That's the coffee right, pot yeah, on the stove. Okay, okay. Need a can opener? We'll put, where we put those can openers at? We'll put it on the counter where the pots and pans. We'll call that um, utensils. How about this? Utensils. Utensils. You need a good, a good can opener. What's in the can? <laughs> okay, so we got basically a kitchen here, right? Okay, now let's see, where do we want to start? Let's start with the stove, because that was the, the first thing we did. What do we use the stove for? To cook it. Warm stuff up, heat up things, cook that way. So that's like with the Word of God, we need something to prepare, prepare the food. Hmm? The stove feeds you. Yeah. All right. This is where the, we're going to prepare the food on it. Uh -huh. We're prepare the word of God on the stove. Hmm? Preparation. Preparation. So. Got to get, get it prepared. Oh, look at that. See, y'all, y'all. I got, I'm, we got good class participation going. Got to have somebody that knows how to cook. How does somebody know how to cook? They get taught. What else do they do? Read it on the internet. That's getting close. That's getting close. Instructions. A cookbook. Instructions. All right, we need instructions. A cookbook. So we learn how to. Oh, see, I do too. I do too. My wife doesn't like cookbooks because 
she reads the ingredients and she thinks that you just take all the ingredients at one time and just put it and out jumps whatever. I have to tell her no. <laughs> I said no. I said the cookbook will tell you all the ingredients of what you need to prepare, but it also tells you when to apply what steps to do to cook the food. You don't just throw it all in the pot and hope it jumps out. It's your instruction man. A lot of us do that. We just jump in here any old kind of way, just try to throw it all together, and it doesn't work that way. There's instructions, there's ways to break down the Word of God so that you can be able to prepare it right and ingest it. Eat your food, eat your food. Okay, that's good. Where are we going to go to next? The refrigerator? What's in the refrigerator? Hmm? Food. Hmm? It preserves things. Right. All right, that's good. That's what the Bible says. When you read in Psalms, it talks about preserve us, O Lord. Preserve. So that's good. The refrigerator preserves. Anybody else got anything about a refrigerator? Keeps you from being lukewarm. <laughs> All right. Keep things fresh. Keep things fresh. What does it keep fresh? Fruit. Huh? Your fruit. Okay, that's good. We know what the fruit is, right? The fruit of the Spirit. All right. Love, joy, peace. So when we go to the refrigerator, you know, we got to apply all these things. We go to the refrigerator, we're getting the, the fresh fruit. Okay? But you got to take it out. You just can't leave it in there. Because if you leave it in there too long, what happens to it? Even in the refrigerator? Can't leave it in there too long. Okay, what else is in the refrigerator? Hmm? He said the meat. <laughs> meat, in the meat and milk. And then the Word talks about that. Desire the sincere milk of the Word. All right. What did Jesus say about meat? Mm -hmm. He said something else. Say that again. The work, right. He said, my meat is to do the will of the Father. Oh, yeah. So when you go in here, you want to get that meat so that you can do the will of your Father. Okay? Yeah. That's what we got. Anything else about the refrigerator? Got to have the living water in there, too. Oh, wow, y'all just going on. Okay, there's one more thing about the refrigerator, kind of a bad thing that we do, is we put leftovers in there. We put leftovers in there. A lot of times, we love the food the first time when it's prepared and it's given to us, and we say, oh, I love this, so I'm going to put it in there because I'm going to eat it later. Yeah. And we leave it in there. We leave those leftovers in there. And what happens to the leftovers? You just throw them out. You don't even eat it a lot of times. Hmm? So with that, we need a trash can. We forgot about it. <laughs> we'll put that trash can over here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This is good. Okay. Where do we want to go next? You want to go to the, you want to go to the dishwasher? That's here, right? Okay. What about this dishwasher? We're gonna talk about. Uh huh. Whoa! Look at that. That's a lot right there. Mm-hmm. Right. Try to clean it in the sink, right? Yep. Uh-huh. She says it's the best way. What I found out about a dishwasher is, this is how I do my, I wash my dishes in the sink first, and then I put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher will get it hotter and, yep. and sanitized. It sanitizes it. Right. Oh, look, she says get some of the chunks of the food on. Oh, yeah. Some of that food that you've been eating. It's left on your plates. You got to get that off first into the trash can and put it in the dishwasher. All right. Anything about the dishwasher? No? Okay, we'll move on. What's our time? Tony, I don't know my time. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It washes things, cleanses things. That's where the water, the, the running water, the living running water. 
Jesus said that we're going to be the flow. And it's that sink, that's that cleaning thing. You got the hot and the cold. You got the hot and the cold. And they come out of two different things, hot and cold. Way two different things. You got that? Say again. Maintain the pipes to keep them flowing right. Oh, man, you guys are good. You also have that thing in the middle, a drain. Takes all the... It's going, nothing's going to work. So that, that drain is important to get some of that stuff you don't want out. It's going to make a mess. It's going to clog up everything. Sink's going to run over. The whole kitchen's going to be flooded. You're going to have to redo it. <laughs> all right, all right. Preach it, sister. <laughs> okay, that's the sink, dishwasher. Where do we want to go next? The cabinets. What's in the cabinet? Who has that junk in their cabinet? <laughs> Cookies, junk, potato chips, right? Right, so we got a, here's our junk cabinet over here in the corner. You know, we need to really stay away from that cabinet, but it's just something, you know, that's that, that Facebook cabinet, okay. And that internet cabinet. We have a who? Yes. Yeah. Josh had us put a trash can here. Okay. So in these cabinets is, is what, store, what we store in our cabinets. We need to store things that we're going to use. When you're looking at... Hmm? Your toolbox. It's the storage, right? That's good. That's good. You guys are, are even doing better than I thought <laughs> on this. I mean, you really are in it. It's good. What else is in the cabinet? Right. Yeah. So we can take it out and put it on the stove and do what we need to do to, to feed the people, right? Yeah. Right? We got that word in us. Oh man, y'all y'all good. Anything else about the cabinet? Okay, we're gonna go with the cabinets. One more thing is the thing about the cabinet is it's a storage place and we take out from it to do. But we also have